Hi guys, welcome back. So today I am back with another good and exciting video, which is regarding the GCam. So I have got this Redmi Note 3 with me, and there is no need to tell you guys that the world is getting advanced day by day, and so is our mobile. And you can really find good and cheap mobiles which are having good camera sensors, but the place where they lack is their camera software. Like this, my Redmi Note 3. is also having kind of average to good camera sensor but the camera software is not that much optimized and is kind of okayish so today i'm going to tell you how you can install google cam in this redmi note 3 so that you can take full advantage of the camera sensor which we have got in this 4 year old redmi note 3 device and i must say guys the results are really exciting and in some cases you will for sure get shock So let's get started and I'll tell you how to quickly install the Google camera in this Redmi Note 3. So in order to install Google camera the first prerequisite is your mobile should be rooted. And in case if you are not sure how to root your mobile you see the i button above where I have told you how you can root your device. So considering you already have a rooted device let's go to the next step and here you can see i have already installed this camera p3 which is the camera of google pixel 3 modded for redmi note 3 so let's quickly open it and you can see it's getting force closed but you don't have to worry guys i'll tell you why is it happening so the google camera is getting force closed why because By default in most of the mobiles camera to API is not enabled. Now you will ask what is camera to API. So camera to API is the part of software which needs to be enabled in your devices in order for this Google camera to work. But how will you know whether the camera to API is enabled or not? So for that you need this software which is manual camera compatibility. I'll give all the links in the description below. So once you install it and open it you can see it says camera compatibility test and we'll click start so here you can see it says manual focus is not enabled manual white balance manual iso manual raw speed manual raw support everything is disabled in this so we have to do a quick step in order to get all these functionalities enabled so what we have to do is we have to first close this and we have to go to this app called as build prop editor so i'll give all the links in the description below and this will let you enable your camera to api using which our google camera will work so here we have to search h a l so we have to search h a l and we'll get one property saying persist dot camera dot h a l 3 dot enabled so if this says zero this means the camera to api is disabled so what we have to do is we have to click and make this value as 1 so we'll change the value from 0 to 1 and we'll say yes and we'll save it and in case if there are other properties which are showing in your mobile which are also related to hal3 you have to make sure that all the values of those property is one so in my case there is only one property but in your case it could be more also so you have to make sure that every property has the value one so we have only one and we have made it as one so now we'll go back and we'll restart the device and we'll open this manual camera compatibility app and we'll again test it so boy la thumbs up you can see all the functionalities have been enabled yes so now we are good to go with the google camera app so i'll open it so go the google camera is now working so here you can see videos are there photosphere is there night sight is there and other settings and we have portrait mode here panorama mode here and if we go to settings we can see the back camera can record videos up to 4k so that is very good 
So I'll go ahead and click some pics and show you the samples of the stock camera as well as the Google camera. And you yourself can decide whether it's a worth to try or not. So guys, this Google camera app is a blessing to all those mobiles who are cursed with the incapable stock camera app. So go ahead and try that. All the links will be there in the description below. So thumbs up and enjoy. If you appreciate my efforts, please hit the like button and give me a visit on the below platforms. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.